Good morning. I just woke up. I've been car camping. Um, so Colorado of me. But I realized I didn't film a disclaimer for my piercing, which is very needed or else people will attack me in the comments. And I don't want that. So, I mean, I guess people still attack me even if I add a disclaimer. But I just want to say, if you're going to be dumb, be smart about it. That's my favorite saying when it comes to piercings or doing things to yourself. Um, I like to use proper needles and like make sure they're sterilized. It's some things I definitely cut corners on because it's my body and I don't really like, I'm like, I know what works for me, but I'm not encouraging you to cut corners. Please be smart. Like, like I said, use good quality needles. Do proper aftercare with your piercings. Don't pierce it and then think it's going to heal itself. No, take care of it. Um, also use proper jewelry and do this at your own risk. Know that like you could get an infection and you could lose your ear. I, actually, I don't know if you could or not. Anyway, so that's my disclaimer. Pierce at your own risk. Stay safe, kids. So I would like to say, I feel like my personality in this video is very mellow. I don't think that's normally me. I was just not feeling the excited vibes today or that day that I filmed. So just bear with me, but it's a great video. I get the piercings done. Hello, so today is the day that I have chosen to stab myself with a needle. Um, I'm actually in the middle of moving right now. I have all my boxes stacked up. My mirror is currently being held up by boxes. And overall my room is just kind of a mess and I'm a little bit of a mess, but what better time than the present to shove a needle through my ear. Uh, so yeah, I have my whole setup down here actually. All the things that you need for a good piercing. I have ice purple alcohol, everything important in life. I also have my yerba mate because I feel like my personality personality needs a little bit of extra spice today. Um, I went to the gym this morning and hit legs really hard so I'm kind of exhausted. I drew up a little game plan on my ears. I took a picture of them and then I went into an editing app and I added little gems where I wanted the piercings to go. So I think that I'm gonna do a rook. Actually, I think I'm doing the rook on my right ear. Yeah, up here. And then an anti trachis down here. And then potentially a cartilage on this ear. I don't really know. Um, I don't know how many piercings I can actually get myself to do. I guess we'll cross that bridge when I get there. But for now, I have my little rings picked out. Um, I actually just bought a big pack of surgical grade steel earrings off of Amazon. And that's what I'm gonna use. I can just like remember the crunch of the needle going through my ear the last time. That's kind of graphic, but like you, you clicked on this video. I like the crunch sound of it going through my ear and then also through my nose. And I'm like, I'm having flashbacks. I think I'm giving myself PTSD. Not actually, but like kind of, this is scary. Okay, so I picked out a 16 gauge needle. I think that's like what's best for cartilage. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Kind of scared. Don't be scared, have no fear. I have fear. <laughs> Let's go a little bit of a founding father action right here. I'm gonna start with this ear. I'm gonna do my cartilage. Actually, you know what? I should start with the worst one first. So we're gonna do the rook first. Okay, so I just dotted my rook. I don't know if you can even see it. Um, and I also just watched like a video, like a six minute video on the piercing itself, pain and healing time. And then I looked in the comments, like the guy in the video said that it's not a very painful piercing. But then I looked in the comments and there were like 50 comments being like, this is my most painful piercing ever. Ah. Now I'm just procrastinating doing it. Like I know I just need to balls up and do it, but like, ah! I'm feeling the effects of masculinity. I'm gonna go to war. I'm gonna go for the lightsaber. I'm kind of stressed, but I just need to do it. I just gotta, <laughs> yes, I just wash my hands. So when I go to do it, they're clean. I'll be right back. I'm gonna procrastinate a little bit longer. Okay. I brought you guys in a little closer because I'm about to do it. I decided to do it on my left ear because I like my rook ledge better than I do on my right ear. So we're just gonna go for it. And yes, I am using a nasty ass um, eyeliner cap as my receiver, but that's just what works best. I did put some rubbing alcohol around it to clean it so it's not super gross. Do I have an eater receiver? Honestly, I don't know if I do or not. Oh, there we go. Okay. That actually didn't hurt at all. Oh, wow. I accidentally stuck the other part of my ear. That was really hard to get through though. That was crazy hard to get through. 
The placement isn't bad. Can you even see it? I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna push the needle through though. Okay, I don't, I really didn't think of this through. See how much to get the needle out. It doesn't hurt though, which is really good. How do piercers do this? Okay, so that was a very lengthy process of getting the needle out and then what actually happened, see it's, it's through now. I have a really big ring in it. I wanted to put a smaller one in, but it wasn't working out. I had two needles out. I had an 18 gauge and a 16 gauge. My earrings sit perfectly inside the 16 gauge so I could like pull it through, but I accidentally grabbed the 18 gauge needle. So my piercing, my, my earrings didn't fit. So I had to yank the needle out and quickly stick the piercing, the, the ear, earring in. Um, so now we have this. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's the ring, the, the ring is way too big. That's that for now. We're just gonna leave that and move on to the next one. That sounds really scary. Move on to the next one. Like, my, how stupid am I? I guess I'm pretty stupid. Uh, but this worked out. This worked really well. It honestly didn't hurt, like, at all. Like, there was, I, I went crunch. There were, there were two crunches from the two layers of cartilage. And I was like, when's it gonna start hurting? And it just didn't at all. Uh, so for all you people that said it hurt, your piercer was bad. Get a professional. I'm joking, I'm not a professional, seriously. I don't wanna do anything more on this year, honestly. I'm gonna leave her go, I'll do that later. Maybe another video coming soon of me piercing more of my ears because that's just what I enjoy doing. But uh, I think we're gonna move to this year. So I was doing some thinking and I'm just gonna risk it with a biscuit and do my right cartilage. Cause why not? And I'm actually gonna use the right needle this time so I don't have the same problem I had this time. Um, I am pretty good at sleeping just on my back. So I think we're gonna do that. I'm looking a little ratchet. I've seen in better days, but I think I'm gonna pop her like right there or something. Papa squatted in. Uh, so yeah. Okay, I marked it where I think that I want it and we're gonna stab it. You guys are gonna stay right there. I guess I could move this guy over here. I don't know if this is gonna stay. It might literally fall mid piercing, but uh, that's okay. I fall sometimes. I fall short too. Yeah, I think you guys can see if I just shove it through right there. Could I use like a scrunched up cotton pad to stick through? Cause I just need something to like put like this, put against my ear so I have better leverage. Okay. This is my 16 gauge, right? Yeah, I think it is. Is it even through? Oh, it is through. That one hurt way more than my rook did. Oh yeah, she's chilling. Oh there, here we go. Oh yeah, she's in. Look at that. Oh, it's bleeding a lot. I love it. It's a lot of blood. I like that a lot. Crazy. I'm so happy. Few minutes later. Yeah, so this is a really fun story time. It's been like 30 minutes, maybe more, since I pierced my ears. And I was looking at my little rook here and I was like, you know, I think I can take it out. Yeah, no, I, no, I should not have. So I take it out, thinking that I can put the smaller ring in. Smaller ring says no. I'm not going in. So I'm like, oh crap. Big problem here. Like literally the bottom hole just sealed up. It was gone. Like no blood coming out of it, nothing. Couldn't find it, gone. So I'm like, well, there's, I have two options here. I can just never have a rook piercing and just leave it go and cry a river of tears or I can re-pierce it. So I grabbed my needle, shoved her through again. Different needle, don't worry. Um, it was fresh, it was clean, it was sterilized, kind of. And uh, yeah, so now we're back to square one. Hello again. It's me from the car. Um, so my these are my heel. No, no, they're not healed. Who am I kidding? It's only been a month. Chill. Um, that's my rook. Not well, you can see it, but it's in there. I still haven't closed the ring. It's just floating around in there. It sits pretty good though. I'm happy with a lot of things about it, but the ring's still open. I have needle nose pliers that I need to close it with. I just haven't yet. It works pretty good the way it does. And then the cartilage, that one is the one really, ouch, I just heard it, so they scraped it. That one's the one really good. See, it's hanging in there. It's like a tiny piercing bump, but if you put a dab of tree, a tea tree oil on that, it literally dries up within, like, the night. So, that thing is just there because I keep sleeping on it, and, like, having hair and healing a cartilage is really hard. So, anyway, they turn out really good. Very happy with the results. Um, 
10 out of 10 would pierce myself again. If you have a problem with that, I don't care. Have a good day. Love y'all.